King Hassan II ordered his attackers to stop firing because he was dead. King Hassan II became the ruler of Morocco on February 26, 1961. He was not very popular at the beginning of his kingship. In fact, there were suggestions that he would not last six months on the throne. He definitely disappointed his critics when he went on to rule for 38 years. However, Moroccan military officers didn't just sit around waiting for the king's death. They launched several attempted coups to kill him. One such attempt happened on July 10th, 1971, when some 2,000 rebellious soldiers invaded King Hassan's palace during his 42nd birthday party and opened fire on the guests. At least 100 people were killed but none of them was King Hassan. Hassan is said to have approached the leader of the coup and looked him straight in the eye while reciting verses of the Quran. The coup leader lost his nerves and could not shoot the king. Another attempt followed a year later on August 16, 1972. Hassan was flying from Paris to Morocco when his airplane was interrupted by four Royal Moroccan Air Force F-5 fighters as he approached Rabat Airport. Hassan was a trained pilot and was in the cockpit at the time of the attack. The rebellious pilots fired at the King's airplane, damaging several parts, including the engine. However, Hassan pretended he was a regular pilot when he grabbed the radio and screamed, Stop firing! The tyrant is dead! The elf's fives then broke off, thinking they had killed the king. Hassan's airplane landed, and he had the coupe plotters arrested. <laughs> 